today's episode, we're going to be looking at Topaz Studio 2 again. Today we're looking at the black and white filter. I chose this image on Unsplash.com by this photographer, Lydia Nada. Beautiful little image, and I chose this one because it had a lot of colors in it, and it would uh, best show you how this black and white filter works. So let's get started here. So I already have Topaz Studio 2 opened up here. Um, we've got the image here. So let's click on Add Filter and let's go down to Black and White. And as soon as we click on Black and White, we immediately see we have a Black and White conversion. Now, as in all Topaz Studio 2 filters, we have the opacity controls. And we've gone over this different times. And we have the blend modes. And then we have the presets. Inside the presets here, let's just take a look. We can simulate different filters. In the old days, uh, when we used to shoot with film, and some people still do shoot with film, black and white film, we used to put filters in, in front of our lenses. In other words, we could put a blue filter, a green filter, a red filter, a yellow filter, and these filters would affect the colors. And, you know, like... Uh, uh, a red filter, I believe, would make the skies look darker and things like that. So uh, we have these different presets to simulate filters on, on front of lenses on cameras. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But I want to show you the nitty-gritty of this uh, filter here. So you notice we have all these different colors here. Red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, and so on and so forth. We even have gray. And so these will affect the luminance values of all the colors. And it's real easy to adjust. And all you have to do is move these sliders left and right. If you move the sliders right, you'll lighten colors. If you move them to the left, you'll darken them. You'll darken the luminance value of the colors. Okay, so if there's any reds, if I move this slider to the right, reds will start to get lighter. You see parts of the image getting lighter. If I move it to the left, they'll get darker. Now, where do you adjust these to? Wherever you like. You just look... You let your eye tell you, oh, that looks nice right there. And you can just, you know, just get these right where you like them. And don't forget, you can use your up and down arrows to nudge colors or luminance values just where you want them. And then let's go to the next one, orange. Don't be afraid to move the sliders. Move them and see what they're doing. And when you get it where you like it, just stop. Now we're going to go to yellow. Okay, and maybe right around here. Gonna go to greens, somewhere in there, aqua. I'm just gonna go down here and do each and every one. Now we go to purple and magenta. Maybe I'll darken my magenta so I'll get a little nice contrast in here. And then we even have gray. You gotta watch gray if you can go too crazy on this one. But I like what it's doing. Look at the eyes on the little smiley face here. It's making those eyes get a little bit darker. And also there's a little hot spot here. If I move this gray up, I can make that hot spot blow out, which I don't want to. So I just want those eyes to go a little bit black, maybe right around there. And then we have a brightness slider so we can adjust the brightness if we want it to go lighter or darker. I might just take it a little bit darker here. And this is a really cool slider. We have a detail slider so we can take this detail, detail slider move it up. Black and white looks really great when you add some detail to it. So let's move that detail slider up a little bit. And if you're starting to get artifacts in your image, you can uh, adjust this suppress artifact slider so it'll smooth out some of those artifacts. See like in these areas, let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so look right in here. And I didn't do any noise reduction or anything in this picture. I just wanted to get right to work on this to show you how this works. But see how that smooths out some of those artifacts when I move this? So you have that uh, suppress artifact slider. The last slider we have is the color sensitivity slider. And it determines how sensitive these controls will be to the different colors. Okay, so let me just adjust it here and you'll see. Watch when I slide it to the right. See things changing in here? So you can tweak that just till you get things looking just the way it should. And I'm thinking maybe right around there. Well, there it is. There's the uh, black and white filter inside of Topaz Studio 2. Let's go ahead and reset this filter. Let's go over here to where it says black and white, the little icon here. Give it a click. That'll reset the filter. I'm going to show you guys something really fun, and that is... We can use this black and white filter to adjust the colors of a color image. Let me show you what I mean. This is really cool and I think you'll like it. Let's come over here to the blend mode and change the blend mode to luminosity. 
Now, whenever I adjust these sliders for each one of these colors, I will adjust the luminance value of the color. Let me show you what I mean. So the red, if I take the red slider to the right, anything that is red will get lighter. You see that? Or if I move it to the left, it'll get darker. So I can give those reds a nice rich look to them. Like the watermelon, this color red in here. The orange, we can make the oranges lighter or darker, depending what we like. And again, where do you adjust these? Wherever your eye likes it. You make it the way you like it. Let's go to yellow. We can brighten up the yellows. We can darken down the yellows. Let's just maybe lighten up the yellows just a little bit. Now we can go for the greens. I want to make that watermelon rind right there on that balloon a little bit darker. I just think this is the coolest thing. Who would think that a black and white filter could be used to adjust color, but it can. Let's go to aqua. All the aqua tones. And again, I like it there. Let's go to blues. Let's darken our blues up just a little bit. That's what the way I feel today. I'm in a blue mood today. Now let's go to purples. Any purples in here? Well, up in here. A little bit of purple. And I can adjust that shadow. Let's make that shadow look a little darker by moving this uh, purple slider to the left. Now we'll go to magentas. I know there's magenta in here. And I like that right around there. And let's go to gray tones. Again, the eyes and the little smiley face. All right. So now let's take the opacity. Let's pull it back. So there's before and there's after. Pretty cool. So that's a nice little twist on the black and white filter. Well, thank you very much for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. If you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please do so and click the bell notification icon so you can be informed of all the new videos I'm putting out. Well, thanks again for joining me. I will see you next time right here on the Joy of Editing with Dave.